could replace two 747s. Fewer flights, more passengers, lower costs per seat. The engineering challenge was immense. A fully double-decked aircraft. Four massive engines. A wingspan so wide that airports needed special gates. Airbus built new factories just to assemble it. Development costs soared. Delays mounted. But Airbus pushed forward. April 27, 2005. The A380 takes its first flight. The aviation world watches in awe. It's magnificent. An engineering masterpiece. Airlines started ordering. Singapore Airlines became the launch customer. But one airline believed more than anyone. Emirates. They ordered 123 A380s. More than half of all orders. October 2007. Singapore. Airlines operates the first commercial A380 flight from Singapore to Sydney. Passengers are amazed. Onboard bars. Private suites. Showers at 40,000 feet. This wasn't just flying. This was luxury. The A380 became an icon. Travelers loved it. Aviation enthusiasts worshipped it. It was the pinnacle of passenger aviation. But behind the scenes, problems were emerging. The A380 needed to be full to be profitable. 500 plus passengers every flight. That's a lot of people. Airlines struggled to fill seats consistently. And when planes weren't full, they lost money. Operating costs were brutal. $26,000 per hour to fly. Four engines meant four times the maintenance. Airport gates needed expensive modifications. Not every airport could handle the A380. Meanwhile, Boeing and Airbus itself offered alternatives. The 787 Dreamliner. The A350. Smaller, more efficient. Two engines instead of four. Airlines could fly direct routes between smaller cities instead of funneling everyone through massive hubs. The point-to-point -point model was replacing hub-to-hub. -hub. Passengers wanted direct flights. Airlines wanted flexibility. The A380 offered neither. Orders started drying up. Then airlines started canceling. Qantas cut orders. Virgin Atlantic canceled. Lufthansa reduced theirs. Even Emirates, the A380's biggest believer, started having doubts. February 2019. Airbus makes the announcement. A 380 production will end. After Emirates reduced their final order, there simply weren't enough customers. The dream was over. December 2021. The final A380 rolls off the production line in Toulouse. Destination, Emirates. It's aircraft number 251. Airbus had predicted they'd build over 1,000